welcome back everybody we are just awaiting our final matchup of the day it's gonna be our saints taking on maryville university to get into day two of a crl and we are getting right underway it's gonna be barris christian and vesh taking on speed knight and relating wave this is gonna be absolutely incredible i've heard very good things oh maryville, but to start out the game christian getting our first goal within eight seconds of the game I've heard something very good, and I've heard that the Saints are going to be taking an early lead in this one with an early goal. A very, very good start for the Saints. Hopefully, that can knock Maryville a bit off their game. Yes, and just looking at these rosters as well, as a fan of the RLCS, I'm pretty sure Relating Wave has been in that scene, so this is going to be a big feat for the Saints school team if they can beat someone who played on RLCS level of Rocket League. We've got Speed coming up with the ball right now, hopefully to make something happen. But Barris there to block it out, following up, there's Relating Wave, he's got zero boost to follow it up. Christian hopefully to bang it out, follow it up, but there's Speed, and Knights slowly following up, getting it out. Relating wave, he makes something there, but Barris is banging it out. And it is a best of three, first to two wins. Winner goes to day two, loser is out. It's a very, very big game for both teams. Saints starting off hot, be very happy with the fact they got a pretty free goal to start off the game there. Had another chance, Avesh gonna look for something. Barris is gonna be there, looks for the pass over to Christian, but Christian is nowhere to be found. It's gonna be Maryville on the attack yet again. Absolutely, and against the team so that's such fierce, it's good to get the first goal to know that you guys have a little bit of a safety against such a, such a team that's gonna be such a problem in the future. But the leading wave, hopefully get a goal blocked out by Barrist. Knight to follow it up. Speed coming in close. Christian to bang it out. Coming on the side of Maryville. A relating wave to bang it out. Now Knight's going to follow it up, taking it back to the side of the Saints. And a quick little mention, it's actually a best of five series. So a bit of an extended series. Neither team has played a best of five yet in this tournament. So fatigue going to be one thing that also is very, very important. Code kick in here. Saints get another chance here. Christian looks for that finish. Can't find it with a min couple minutes gone now Saints doing a great job of withstanding Maryville's pressure. Relating Waves got to get this out and over Vesh just barely. Now Barris there to follow it up. It just got caught by Knight. Speed hopefully to pass it to his teammate. Relating Wave makes something happen with there. Knight and getting the goal equalizing the game ladies and gentlemen. That's a nice goal from a Knight there just standing waiting for the pass to come through and Nobody from Saints is in the vicinity. It's only Vesh trying to get the one-on-one -on -one stop, but against Knight, that's not a position you want to be in. And just like that, the early lead of the Saints has been taken away. Yes, that little bit of confidence and a little bit of safety is now out for the Saints. And Maryville is looking to make a big push here with speed up there, followed by Relating Wave and Knight. They have really actually no boost to play with. And Christian's coming into this with a little bit of more. Now, Speed bringing it in the corner, another touch. Christian Barris looking to follow it up. Speed just gets it right around him. Vesh pushing it out, down to Knight on the side of Maryville. Yeah, you can see Saints being the more defensive team as Maryville has been putting on the pressure continuously. So many members flying through the air and just like that speed is there for the follow-up. You see why Maryville is so, so feared. Knight gets the bump. Nice pass there from Leading Wave. Two members trying to contest speed. Nothing comes of that and it's a 2-1 lead for Maryville. Beautifully done by speed. Sadly, Vesh did not have the landing that he wanted and Christian and Barris just got absolutely done. On. But now, you see Relating Wave up there with zero boost. Christian, follow it up, take it to the corner, take it for another touch down, hopefully to Vesh. Vesh can make something happen here. Get just around one, but Relating Wave's back there, hopefully to make something happen. And now, Barris with the follow up coming off the wall. Small touch, speed there, and he just gets it down too. And Vesh, and Christian, goal. gets the goal. A nice and easy goal for the Saints. Barris, though, did all the work against two defenders. Gets it through and the easiest finish Christian will get it today. Ties the game up at two apiece. And Saints have gotten themselves back into this one. Absolutely. This is a thrilling game so far. Two to two with under two minutes left remaining. Vesh up to get the ball off of their side. A relating wave to follow him up. Speed to bring it to the back. Another touch. Not in the goal, sadly. Relating wave there with zero boost. Vesh just misses it. And now Barris has got to clean up and follow it up. 
Fesh looking for a bump. And Varus is there. But oh, Fesh what a just getting a little bit of a flick and almost getting in. But what a save on the side of Maryville. Yeah, that's not the first time we saw the little one two trickery coming up from the Saints, but it's great goalkeeping there. As now Saints have to be careful here. Maryville are on the attack speed, gets it into the corner here. Nothing going to be there. Relating wave looking for a pass through the middle. Christian is there with the save. And now the Saints can push three on two. Barrist going to put it back into the corner, but the touch is there from Maryville to slow that one down. Yeah, Barrist up there to create some chaos and get that touch. Besh is still up, getting that demo on Knight, and now he's on the side of Maryville. Christian is going to follow it up off the wall, get a touch, hopefully get a goal, but sadly blocked out by Relating Wave. A nice save there from Relating Wave, but Saints are still on the attack. They've definitely picked it up in the second half of this game with a lot better play. Barris gonna just hold on to this one. Nice demo there from Christian. That's gonna give the Saints a lot of space to work with. Relating Wave is there with the save, and now nobody's back for the Saints, but luckily it takes a good bounce for them. Still a lot of danger for the Saints. They get the clearance going, 30 seconds left. Next goal would most likely be the winning one. Absolutely, not a lot of time left to play with. Two to two, Saints have gotta make something happen and Maryville's also got to get out oh, from on their side. Almost so a goal close. from Barris. Nice shot, though. Vesh trying to just push it on the side with this not little to no boost. Now, speed is up. Hopefully, make something happen, but Christian's out there to block it. Re relating wave to follow. Vesh is going to clank it out to the side of Maryville. Vesh bringing it down for overtime, baby. Yeah, we're in overtime in game one of this best of five. And Saints definitely picked up their pace of play in the second half of the first game there. But still a lot of work to do if they want to take down that Maryville. One goal is all they need, however, to take a commanding lead in this series. See what side can do what. It's going to be the Saints starting off on the attack early, but it looks like Maryville able to withstand the early pressure. Absolutely. Coming back on the side of the Saints now. they got to put that defense to work. Christian banging it out, but Knight is there to get it back on the other side. Keep applying the pressure. Now it's banged right back out to the side of Maryville where Speed's got it, taking it up and hopefully put some more pressure on there. Vesh to keep it up. Good 50. Christian. Hoping to get a good bounce there, get a good 50 off of speed, and now Bears to follow it up. Maybe he can make something happen. He can make a say, make a pass down to Christian. Christian's on the wall, coming from the top. Maybe he can make a pass oh. or a goal. A close, but blocked out by Knight. There's a follow-up shot though, relating wave. Huge save there. Bears had the game winner in his sights, but did as much as he could with that shot. Now it's going to be speed on the counter attack. Nice defense from the Saints who are putting on the pressure. They're looking to find something. Christian finds the shot, but it's a good save by speed. Absolutely, and oh, we're back now, and they got little to no boost, but good bump. Christian getting speed out of that position to get the goal. Now Bears to follow it up, over relating wave, but Knight, speed is still there. Speed following it up, relating waves there to hopefully make something happen, but sadly bumped out. Knight is there to get it back. Christian looking to make something happen, but doesn't get the touch. Vesh making something happen, getting over relating wave. Now he's gonna make it again with zero boost. Just over. Barris almost, but blocked out by Knight. I mean, this is such a tense game. Could go either way. Knight wins a big 50 there. It's in the danger area. Vesh finds the clear though. That's gonna be back into the Maryville half here. Anything for either side could lead to a game one victory. Let's put into another danger zone, but this time by Maryville. Barris though flying across. It's a nice 50 there, but it's still picked up. Christian gonna pass it over to Barris. Can't Barris find a shot on target? Doesn't look like that one's gonna be able to drop in there. Knight with a nice defense there. We're already two minutes into this overtime. Now it's a huge opportunity for Maryville on the fast break. Knight gets the assist over to speed. And let's see that one one more time. Just not enough numbers. Christian can only do so much there. It's a beautiful finish by speed. It's going to be Maryville taking game one of this best of five. Good job to Maryville taking that last game, getting that last goal in, and that was a very close game, I'm going to be fairly honest. We had two minutes overtime there, and talking prior, figuring out and understanding just how different the Saints gold team is to Maryville. I thought this was going to be a lot more one-sided on the side of Maryville, but Saints are bringing their A game. They're bringing a competition for Maryville to try and counter, and it's working for them, but we've got to pull it back now because Maryville's got one on the board. I mean, from the look of things, does not look like Maryville are by far the better team. I mean, Saints had the lead there, could have won that game, but Maryville just came back and uh, 
closed it out in the overtime, but we're underway in game two. Let's see if the Saints can get off to a hot start this time again. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Bears, I think, needed to find that save there. That was close to being an opportunity for us out of Maryville, but there is no goal. The relating wave on the sideline here, looking to find something. His teammate speed is going to be there. There's nobody back for the side of the Saints, but finally Christian flies through the air to get a crucial 50 there to keep the Saints level-headed. Bash is coming up with a good flick to get the goal, and he started off the game strong with one goal. That's a great goal from Bester on the counter. Maryville got demo there, which was a crucial part to that. And nobody's back. Zero boosts left. Just kind of a defensive mislapse there from Maryville. Absolutely. There wasn't good management there. There wasn't some good communication happening there. Embarrassed. Might oh. get a kickoff goal. And he does. Setting the game to 2-0 to zero on the side of the Saints. Claire. I mean, Maryville are just completely falling apart. Their speed goes for the fake. And Bears says, thank you very much. Picks up a quick and easy goal. But I think this is the most crucial part of the game here. Can the Saints hold on to this lead? If Maryville come back from this kind of deficit, I think we might see a sweep coming. But if not, I think Saints can definitely win the series. Yeah, we've got Knight up trying to make something happen. Locked up by the Saints. Speed is up there again. Hoping to get back, get into the relating wave. But Bears and Bash are there. Bash is coming up, got Barris to pass it back out, Knight to follow it up, and now Christian's there, and oh, oh we got a goal on the side of Maryville to Relating Wave. Just a very quick goal, kind of out of nothing felt, like a nice pass and a nice pinch from Relating Wave, and just like that, Saints lead is cut in half with four minutes to play. He just had the timing right, Relating Wave got the right slice and was able to get one on the board for the side of Maryville. But now, Knight is up with zero boost, hoping to make that two, but sadly doesn't because Christian blocks it out. Now, Relating Wave up, hopefully makes up the first team. Barris there, carrying the ball back to the side of Maryville. Speed to block it out, getting a little bit bumped there. Now, it's coming up to Vesh. Relating Wave got to make something defending. Now, Relating Wave's following up. Bump on the side of Barrist. Knight, hopefully to get a double tap, and he does to equalize the game at 2-2. Two two. And just like that, we are back to square even. Not even a minute for Maryville to come back from the 2-0 deficit, as now they have all of the momentum you could ever want. Saints getting a couple of nice goals early on, but Maryville just drawing up some nice plays in the meantime. This is where Saints have got to pull out their secret weapon. They've got to get together. And Christian, oh. hopefully there for the goal, but sadly just blocked out by Speed. Vesh to make something happen. Slow 50. Sadly, Speed is going to still be there. Christian to bump it up. He's got 50 boosts to play with, but he doesn't decide to use it. And now Knight's banging it out to Barris. Barris to Christian. Christian's trying to get a goal, but Relating Wave blocks it. That's an easy save there from Relating Wave, but one that needs to be made. Now it's Maryville yet again on the counter attack. Saints, though. Finally seem like they've been able to slow them down, but as I think say that Vesh has a crucial save there to keep the Saints level-headed. That could have been a goal for Maryville. Now Barris is doing everything in his power to keep this ball away from their net. Vesh gonna put that one up. Relating wave though will find a relatively easy save there. Vesh trying to do something in this corner, but speed and Christian have that 50. That's a shot very close to the target. The follow-up is there from Christian Saints. Yet again, take the lead. Beautiful communication on the side of Saints. Christian trying to get that up. Barris up there to get that bump. Get related, Relating Wave out of the way and can leave the place open for Christian to get the goal and lead the game 3-2. to two. Yeah, nice goal from the Saints. Even though Maryville had all the momentum, they take the lead yet again. But now it's going to be Maryville back on the attack. Can the Saints slow them down? They can hold on to this lead and take the second game. Put themselves in a beautiful position in this series. But Maryville, I don't think they're going to let that happen with relative ease. Relative Wave going for something there. And then find nothing. Vesh does get them out by night. But still, ball is in a dangerous spot here. There's a shot on target just off the crossbar for Barris. Could have been a fourth for the Saints. And now it's a counterattack for the side of Maryville. They get a one touch. They get a second touch. A third touch off the crossbar. Picture perfect counterattack coming out off of a, a miss from the Saints. Yeah, we saw Knight there trying to get that sly little touch to get it in, but sadly just hit the top of the crossbar. A relating wave there to equalize and get the goal to tie up the game. I mean, that was just a beautiful team goal from Maryville. Can't be too mad at that if you're a fan of the Saints. But now, yet again, 
we're tied up in this game now. It's 3-2-3. Three, three. Let's see how the Saints can do. Maybe get a goal here. But it's going to be actually them on the attack. Can they find anything? Another shot on target is not actually on a target. Relating wave though will get the ball back. Now it's going to be the Saints with full control here. As they look for this fourth goal. Christian trying to find something. Can't find a barrist. Having to play defense here needs a touch onto this one. Relating wave though doing so much. Able to get one touch, two touch. Christian forced to find a clear a minute. 30 left in this game. Could go either way. Absolutely. This is a close game here. We've seen a lot of good plays and a lot of good players on the field right now. Oh, a great shot from speed to make it 4-3 to three on the side of Maryville. I mean, look at this goal. Just gets it across net and Christian just is not able to get a touch there. Speed in the perfect place, right time. Maryville have done the amazing comeback here as they're up 4-3, but still Saints have a chance with a minute something to go. Yeah, Maryville just had the timing on that last goal, but now Vesh to block out, hopefully keep it at 4-3, not get it to 5-3. Relating wave is there to deny that. Trying to get a bump on the inside from Christian. Speed on the outside, but Barris is there to get it out. Speed's coming back, Knight is up, got some boost to play with. Relating Wave is there on his second man, but Christian is trying to get it out behind him. Relating Wave just touches it, Barris for the save, but now Speed is gonna get it up. Christian's gotta touch it, he touches it, bangs it out, but Knight is there to counter, gets it over Vesh, looking for a second, no boost. Relating Wave up next, get it up, and this is just car after car after car, same thing. Going after one and one and one and see who can get the next hole. Yeah, but I mean, Maryville's playing pretty aggressively. They're leaving their net relatively open. Saints can get one good save and a pinch across the field. Could be it. But now it's going to be one final attack here for the Saints. They have all the boost they could ever want here as they look to start the attack. But now that boost has gone very dry as now that shot almost goes in. Another save needed from Christian. 10 seconds and counting. Saints have their final attack here. Can they find the goal to tie this game up and bring it to another overtime? I don't think they're going to be able to do so huge save from Christian the follow-up is there the goal won't count but it's gonna be Maryville putting themselves on match point as they go up to a zero in the series immaculate performance by Maryville very very good so far given the Saints a run for their money and even though these games have not been complete shutouts they've been very entertaining and they've been very close wouldn't you say Theo Absolutely. I mean, both team, both games coming down to one goal. I mean, just an absolute shootout in that second game. Seven goals total. But Maryville just able to get the better of that one. I think up 2-0. I mean, it's going to take a lot of good play here from the Saints. I mean, Maryville has looked just that tiny bit better. You know, they're up 2-0 for a reason. Just a, f a few tiny, tiny plays that they're just able to make to put themselves ahead. And that's why they have the series lead. Yep. And... Saints have got to pull something back now. Under two games. We've got to see what they can do here. Vesh, Christian, and Barris have got to pull together to make sure that they don't make this a 3 0 on the side of Maryville. Yeah, I mean, trying to get one back. It starts with one. It's still winnable here for our Saints. So they, they are staying level headed here. As long as Maryville gets maybe a bit overconfident, our Saints could give them a run for their money. Barris is going to find that clearance. But there is going to be the opening goal relating with completely wide open. I'm surprised the Saints even gave him an opportunity to shot here. Barrist trying to pass it over to Vesh there, but a beautiful interception from Relating Wave leads to an early goal for Maryville. Would expect nothing else from the RLCS contender. Relating Wave absolutely being a huge benefit to his team here. Now we're coming back on the side of the Saints. Vesh is hopefully going to get this out. Low boost. We got a demo on the side of Barris. Flick up. But relating Wave is just there to save it. Hopefully Barris can follow it up. But sadly, no, to no appeal, there's no goal earned. No goal coming out there for the Saints. Shot on target, though. Just like that, Christian picks up a freebie. Let's take a look at what happened there. Vesh finds the pass across and relating wave. Missed the easy clearance there. Leads to a very, very easy goal for the Saints. A couple mistakes from either side here as we're tied up at one apiece. Absolutely. We still got loads of game enough to play. Christian is coming up. Knight on the ball. Christian hoping to follow it up. But Barrist is up there as well. Now we're leaving Vesh down there with a little bit of boost to get it past them. Now Barrist, touch. Beautifully touched up. A relating wave is going to be there to bang it out. Now Christian there hopefully control it. Pass it out to his teammate. Sadly, Barrist couldn't get it in time. 
could not get it in a time as Maryville now looking to press on the counter attack relating wave trying to find something can't find too much here as it's gonna be Knight looking for the touch over the defender it's right on the goal line but Saints gonna be able to clear that one out getting away with one definitely there but still Maryville continue the pressure but I think Saints have done enough to withstand it we saw that very close there. Knights going for another, going for a bump. Hopefully someone's there to follow it up. But Barris is there to block it out and Vesh there to follow. But no, Vesh is gone now. Demoed by Speed. Relating Wave trying to get it out for his team. Speed, or Knights back on that ball. Double tap, hopefully up for someone. Oh, what a little too much. But there, Relating Wave is there to get the second goal and take Maryville into the lead. I mean, it just feels like Maryville have five people on the court, on the battlefield here they just keep coming one after the other and saints just cannot do enough to withstand the pressure they go down two to one but there's a quick and easy shot for them but a huge save from knight to maintain the lead for maryville it was a great chance to get a kickoff goal but sadly maryville was there to defend it vesh now hopefully to get something with a slow 50 bumping out speed barris just up there hopefully falling up but speed just gets it right around him and now relating wave banging it onto the side of the saints hopefully to follow it up get a bump on the way vesh looking to bring it back hopefully to make something happen christian also to take it but now knight taking it back with some boost banging it out who's gonna follow it up it's gonna be barris no oh, relating wave. wave and nobody was on the ball and relating wave has gotten the third goal I mean, this just seems like a lapse from the Saints. Someone has to go for that ball. It's right in front of your net, and nobody does. Relating Wave easily flies in and picks up an easy goal, and that is a crucial one. We're going to see the first two-goal lead of the series from Maryville. Yeah, now half the game gone. Ma Saints have got to pull something back. Because relating Wave just going shot after shot after shot. Christian hoping to make something happen, but Knight going to block him out. Oh. And Speed getting the fourth game of the goal to get a four-goal lead on the side of Maryville. And you could definitely see the Saints kind of just falling apart here. There is not even going to go up for that contest. I don't think he had any idea Speed was flying in through the air there. And now Maryville are starting to tack it on Saints. Gave them a run for their money, but I think this might be where their journey ends. Yeah, Saints have got to put at least a little bit on the scoreboard to get a little confidence back in this game. Might not close it out, but it would be good for their mental. Oh, leave it on a positive one. note and almost. Oh. And there, it oh, is. there it is. We got Christian to finish it up and get a goal on the board. I mean, almost a mistake from the Saints here, but a nice play there from them. Christian finds the finish and a beautiful goal. I mean, they give themselves some life now. Only down two with a couple of minutes to go. It's definitely doable. Let's see how Mayville though will look to extend their pressure. Yeah, we're verging that two minute mark and speeds up to the ball, passing it down to the relating wave. The relating wave's got some boost to play with. The speeds on the wall, Barris bounces out to Christian. Christian is up, hoping to make something happen. Just gets right past Knight and Barris almost there. Vesh getting it, trying to get it through. Barris, the whole team is there and Christian, oh, oh where did it come from? And Speed gets the defense. Oh my God, I did not see Speed anywhere, but he came in with some high speed there to find the clearance. But yet again, Saints have a shot. Christian almost finds it there. I mean, Mayville are allowing a lot of dangerous opportunities here for the Saints and it's giving Saints a chance, but Saints just cannot find the goal now. 30 left they need a couple of these chances to get in the back of the net saints are having the opportunities to get the goals but sadly maryville has just got such good defense oh and now speed to get that three goal lead back on the side of maryville with a minute and 20 left i don't know what saints can do I mean, that goal might just be the nail in the coffin. Saints had a couple beautiful, and I mean beautiful, chances to finish. But Maryville, with just heroics on the goal line, able to withstand those shots. And now with a minute 20, Saints have more than a lot of work to do to come back to this one. Saints have got to make some history-breaking comeback if they're to stay in this game. But I think it's looking very slim on their side as we almost get a six goal on the side of Maryville, but it's blocked out by the Saints and we've reached the one minute mark with 60 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, one minute remaining. I mean, Saints will need a miracle if they want to bring this one back, but they are going to try none of the less. And that's a clearance, that's a valuable time off of the clock as Maryville. Definitely feeling very confident knowing they have this one in the bag as long as they don't do anything. 
severely dangerous. That could have been a goal right there, but it won't be. And that's all that matters. Maribel doing a great job of burning this clock, and it looks like they will be the ones moving on in today too. 30 seconds remaining. Saints trying to find something here, but a relating wave just going to find that clearance there. And I think both teams know the outcome of this one already. Knight just standing in the net waiting for the ball to come in that area. Saints almost find a goal, a consolation goal there, but with 10 seconds and ticking when this timer is over, that will be the end of uh, the series. Saints look to get one more in the end there, but won't be able to. Maryville University take this series three to zero, and they move on to day two. Saints, the Saints gold team and green team, unfortunately, we're not able to proceed today, but they put on a great showing for us. Absolutely, I agree with you there. They put on a great show, great performances by both teams, all six players. It was amazing on both of their sides, but sadly, we couldn't turn out a win for tonight. We could not. Unfortunately, both teams do drop from the losers bracket, and they will look to go again next week, I believe. So a good, good performance, a lot to work on, obviously, from both sides. Not the result they wanted, but... Hey, we did see some very, very good gameplay. We lost to some very strong teams, so I don't think the Saints will be too disappointed with their play, play, to, with their play today. Sorry. Yep, it's nothing to be disappointed about. The Saints played well. As you said, they had some tough challenges to get over, especially some high-level, like, RLCS contending players to face against. And it's sad to say, but their road has ended here for today. Yeah, and uh, I just got word that this was the final open, so... Uh, Hopefully, in theory, we should have enough points to make it to the big stage, but it's not 100% confirmed yet, so I will not say anything on that yet. All the math will be done. But when this one ends tomorrow, and we will see where we fared, but that was just a good day overall today. First, we had Overwatch. Uh, we had our Saints start off with a couple very easy victories. Let's, let's say how it is. I mean... The second team played one map, got out of there quickly. So they will be moving to top 16 in Overwatch Homecoming. And then we just had both of our Rocket League teams uh, get pretty decent placement, but unfortunately just dropping out of the lower bracket. Yeah, well, we had some benefits and some wins on the side of Overwatch. Sadly, Rocket League couldn't pull it through. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, overall, it was your first cast today, <laughs> Wyatt. Uh, you know, throat's definitely hurting after a long day. Um, how, how are you feeling at the end of the day today? Honestly, I didn't know what to expect coming into it. Being a fan of the RLCS, being a fan of watching Overwatch as well and esports in general, I can see what it looks like to be a broadcaster, but to actually be on the stage as an example, my throat right now, <laughs> it's nothing. I, something I did not expect to encounter tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, the more you cast, the more you will get used to it. I mean, it was a pretty long day for us today. We've been here since 1 o'clock, so a lot of games that we have uh, covered uh, today, but uh, we will be getting ready to wrap things up so we're going to uh we're going to be closing things out thank you to our sponsors today alienware tim horton subway sinclair cc and the sinclair alumni association thank you to everyone in the back i believe it was ari and dan today making the stream possible today thank you to our players for putting on a show for us today we're actually going to be raiding deadlock so that's going to be fun stuff don't go here stay, stay tuned for that i've been theo joined by wyatt today thank you guys for watching have a good night and we'll be seeing you on monday